are the leaves now bearing fruit? Will the dead now follow suit? the Alfar nature's meat, food the ravens meant to eat. Why do soldiers hang like tears? Why to Arthur covet fears? The High King Mathon ruled the bleak, silent fields of Wintertide. He kept the season as it should be. The blizzards howling, the skies filled with snow in the gloom of a long night. 
He purified the land under a white blanket and allowed death to end the slow decay of autumn. The woods paid homage in leaves. The waters paused at his arrival. The world revered him in a barren stillness. I have waited for you, mortal. It is not the nature of my kind to anticipate. And yet here I am with these emotions thrust upon me. I have only just awoken in this plane, and yet I find change, chaos running rampant. Who are these Tuatha? What has happened to our midden? The Winter Realm is racked by war, my people's magic in decline, and mortals scurry over my homeland. A travesty that I must write one mortal at a time. It is not the way of my people to die, mortal. It is the way of yours, or it was when I last walked the Winter Kingdom. What has happened while I slept is an affront to nature's patterns. The Fae declining while you mortals wage open war with them. <laughs> Impossible. I will teach you what it truly is to fight against a Fae, but not before you witness the raw power of nature, a power all Fae once wielded, and will wield again.
saw you arrive. That you made it all the way to this chamber unscathed is just another reason why you must be killed. Or perhaps I won't kill you outright. The strongest I keep on the edge of life. To use their energies to sustain this place. To rebalance the scales. The world has changed, mortal. You have heard it said before. I am certain. But you can never sense it as I can. The long winter was birthed by my fallen kind, and though it may one day be reversed, it will never be undone. The cycle has already begun its fracture. I only hope there will be a time for healing, and that when I rise again, I shall be reborn to it. Goodbye, mortal. over then. The headsmen will bother our encampment no more. I... I hate this place. That it might drive a soul to think butchering us was some kind of justice, and what he did to those prisoners. But it's over now. We don't have much to offer, or rather, much to spare. But please, accept whatever reward we can give you. Many thanks, stranger. Goodbye. Hello once more, Wanderer. Have you had any luck in recovering earrings from the... Very well. Let me pay you for... If you find you have time to look for more, I can always make use of you. Go with the gods. Thank the gods you were able to recover the reconnaissance the Venris carried. This information would have proved disastrous in the wrong hands. When the Tuatha tossed Venris in here, I feared all might have been lost. But thanks to you and his wolf, 
The armies will not suffer the same fate as Venus. Take this. It is not much. But it is what we can offer, along with our thanks. Farewell. tree, spreading baleful tyranny, ruined terror of the war, hallowed ground for never more. Thank <laughs> you. 